Okay, so we have been talking about math mountains, and math mountains are what we call these boxes and the lines. Um, we've been practicing drawing them a lot in class and working with them, so that's what the homework is on. And we call the number at the top the total, and the two numbers at the bottom the partners or the add-ins. Um, you can call them either one. It's really a personal preference, but they mean the same thing. And the most important thing is to remember, and we've been talking about this a bunch in class, is that the two partners together add together to make the total. And if you have... Oopsie. If you have the total, and you take away one of the partners, then you end up with the other partner as your answer. So this is like a strategy for figuring out the missing number. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So if you have a math mountain that looks like, you know, 10 is the total, and 6 7 is one of the partners, and it might ask you what's this partner. You should know um, that 10 will equal 7 plus your mystery number, or box. Um, this is helping kids develop their algebraic thinking skills as well, which is really great. Um, anyways, so we put 7 in our heads, and then we count up until we hear 10. We say 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we're at 10. How many fingers do we put up or how many dots do we draw? We do, drew 3. So we put 3 there. 3 is our missing number. And we also like to talk about, um, in this math mountain, you could write several different equations. You could write 10 minus 3 equals 7. What's also true is 3 plus 7 equals 10. Or you could even have 7 equals 10 minus 3. And what's really important as we're writing these is we're asking ourselves, does it use all three numbers in our math mountain? And is it actually true? Because a really common mistake with this sort of thing is kids saying, okay, I use all three numbers, 10 plus 7 equals 3. And that is actually not true, and you have to stop and think about it. If you have 10 and 7 added together, they'll make a bigger number than both of those, and 3 is smaller than that, so that's like not true, and you have to make sure that you catch that. And that's pretty much it with our math mountains. Oh, one more thing. Um, it's also important for kids to know I think one of the questions in the homework is, if you have a total, you could have several different number combinations that add to that total. You could have 6 and 6. You could have 4 and 8. And you could have 10 and 2. You could have 5 and 7. You could have a whole bunch of different numbers. But the point is, it needs to be true, and it needs to, well, if you're writing an equation, it needs to use all three numbers, and it needs to be true. That's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, yeah. And thanks for watching.